Did you know? More people in the United States will use Facebook than exercise their right to vote. In a country where there's so much at stake, how come so many of us don't vote for the people and laws that decide how we live? Do we think our vote doesn't matter? Or have we forgotten our own history? America's first election came after fighting for our independence, a fight that cost many lives. But the fight was worth it because instead of being ruled by a king, we finally had the right to make our own laws. Well, not all of us had the right, because back then, 1789, you had to own property, be white, and a man in order to actually vote. That continued for another 80 years until after the Civil War, when slavery was abolished. All men, regardless of race, were given the right to vote. Well, hold up a minute, all right? Just because the law said we could vote didn't mean we actually could. See, all these new voters wanted to participate was threatening the people in power and their ability to stay in power. So they made it more difficult with violence and shady new requirements like literacy tests and poll taxes. We had to fight for nearly a hundred years before the Voting Rights Act passed, which finally outlawed these dirty tricks. And you weren't the only ones that had to fight for the right to vote. We women also got left out and had to organize and fight state by state. Then we took our fight to Washington and finally got the right to vote across the country. And even once the laws of the land guaranteed every person the right to vote, you still had to be 21 to vote in most states. So when thousands of young Americans were drafted to go to war in Vietnam, young people across the country realized their lives were at stake and they had no say. So in 1971, the 26th Amendment was passed giving everyone over 18 years old the right to vote. And since then, young people's votes have been crucial in deciding lots of big elections. Like in 2008, when a black candidate had the chance to become president. Young people showed up in record numbers and made history. And as our numbers continue to grow, so does our influence. Together we can decide the way our country acts in the world. Where we spend our resources and how we power our lives. Who has the right to marry? and who has the right to choose, whether or not to outlaw, and whether or not to legalize. It's up to you to make your choices and shape our future. If we sit on the sidelines, then others will make it work for them instead of for us. So let's make our voices heard. What would it take for you to vote?